Good morning. I am Reverend Kimashia coming to you from Sitam Thika Town. It's a privilege, as I always say, to bring God's word to us. And today I'm joined by another ministry trainee, Pastor Precious in the making. And there are also good news coming up, but story for another day. Ndugu. Yes. Wana asifiwe. Asifiwe. How have you been? I'm okay. Apart I from uh, updating on Facebook, but then he's such a blessing. You know, if you read his quotes, that's a summon enough during the day. <laughs> And yeah. there are days he also decides to write a mafuta. Sebeni. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you. Buona sifiwe. Asifiwe sana. Do you want to say hi to the people of God? Hi everyone. <laughs> so good to be here. I have missed every one of you and I hope God has kept you well. Amen. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah, those of you who are not from Sitam Pika Town yes. uh, and are catching this, yes, we are blessed. And Amen. and at Sitam Pika Town we say we, we don't love stress. Yeah, we are a church that overcomes. Oh, yes. We are blessed and we are anointed Amen. of the Lord. Amen. Amen. How have you been? I have been well. Mm -hmm. um, God has kept me. Amen. Um, this has been a good time to reflect and rest. Yes. And love God more. Yes. And I'm happy to be we here. We can see it. <laughs> it is showing everywhere. Hey, I tell you. Amen. The glory of the Lord is upon you, my brother. Amen. And may it continually rest upon you. Amen. Generations to come. Amen. Now, in this season that we are in, yes. uh, the earlier two videos that we've done, actually three, yes. the first one in this series, I just began by talking about barrenness and just reminding people that many of the times our lives feel as if it's been packed. Yes. You see, the same way when you look around CTT, the chairs have been packed, of course, for security purposes yeah. and just to avoid them being very dusty and everything. Yes. But at times we have unfinished projects. Something you began, you left it as a pile. A house you are building, materials were actually brought, but they are just out there as a pile. Yeah. Then the second video, we were just reminding people that we need to shout for joy, despite the barrenness, and despite the piles that we have in our lives. Yeah. And then Sister Esther, you know her? Yes, Hallelujah. She has brought forth a word. <laughs> and I don't know whether you are pregnant. <laughs> An expectation. And she has told us that hope will not disappoint. Amen. And soon, whether we are groaning, whether we are feeling the pain of the moment, soon and very soon, the same way pregnancy cannot be hidden. Yes. That which we have carried and that which God has planted in us yes. cannot be hidden mm -hmm. and COVID and situations around us cannot hinder it. Amen. And so we are about to birth something. Amen. And I can tell you, I have been so blessed to dedicate cars in this season. Amen. Pray for businesses. Yes. Friends have gotten babies. Wow. There is progress. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, friends, guess what? We still hold on to that theme. Give me this mountain. This mountain. And I don't know what God Amen. has placed in your heart, even as we bring now this series <laughs> yes. to a close. Over to you, my friend. Why don't we read a scripture from First Kings chapter 17? Mm. And then maybe we can title this later when we are Come done. Come on, yes. <laughs> Because I know there is a flow. Amen. First Kings chapter 17, yes. um, verse 1 says, Now Elijah the Tishbite from Tishbe mm. in Gilead said to Ahab, As the Lord of um, God of Israel lives, mm. whom I serve, mm. there will be neither dew nor rain in the next few years mm -hmm. except at my word. Mm -hmm. And then verse 2 says, And the word of God again came to Elijah and said, Live here, mm -hmm. turn eastwards, mm -hmm. and hide um, in the Kerith ravine east of Jordan. Mm -hmm. You will drink from the brook, and I have directed the ravens to mm -hmm. supply you with food there. Mm -hmm. So he did as the Lord commanded him. He went to Kerith uh, ravine east of the Jordan and stayed there. And behold, ravens brought him bread and mm -hmm. meat in the morning, mm -hmm. and bread and meat in the evening, mm -hmm. and he drank from the brook. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, verse 7 says, Sometimes later again mm. uh, the brook dried because there had been no rain in the land and again the word of God came to him and said go uh, at once to Zarephath in the region of Sidon and stay there. Mm. I have directed a widow there to supply you with mm. food. Come on. And we know when he went there indeed there was food. Amen. And I find this an amazing portion of scripture because um, mm. we can see a situation coming to the land this yes. barrenness, mm. this drought mm. um, and God is actually the one causing it. Mm -hmm. But then he doesn't stop there. He goes ahead to talk about how he's going to take care of his servant wow. in the middle of that same disaster. Amen. So in the same way, the word of God came to Elijah and said there will be a three years drought. Again, mm. the word of God came to him, mm. instructing him on what to do wow. and how to go about the drought. Wow. And I have been wondering um, what would have happened if Elijah perhaps was more keen on the drought than he was on wow. the instruction of God of on how he would be preserved. Wow. And which See? came later. Exactly, it nice. came later. Mm. Because sometimes um, many of us are caught up in moments mm. and um, you know the way we are, I don't know if you still are, but me, I gave up on <laughs> these daily updates on COVID. Updates, yes. And, 
and sometimes those things can get into us yes. so much more that we are always hearing three years of drought, three yes. years of drought, yes. numbers are rising, yes. people are being laid Until off. Until when? Yeah, and, and sometimes that can get us to a place where we completely miss the instruction, wow. where God came and said, yes, wow. there will be a drought, but wow. for you, go east. Hallelujah. And when you get east, there Ish. will be a brook. Ish. And at the brook, there Ish. will be a raven. Amen. And when Elijah got there in hey. verse 5, the it's Bible powerful. says... Mm. There indeed was a brook, Amen. and there were ravens. Amen. And the Bible says, when the season for the brook again came, yes, and it dried up completely. Another instruction came, and an instruction came Hallelujah. right on time, not Amen. later than usual, yes. not earlier, but right on time. And mm. God said, "Now move to the region of mm. Zarephath, and there you will find a weed." What does that tell us, friends? In every moment we get ourselves into, wow. God always yes. has a way. Amen. But do we actually listen? Oh, are we ever keen? You know, I had someone say, does God actually speak? And mm. The question should actually be, mm. are we listening? Mm. Why is it so easy for us to believe there is a drought mm. than it is for us to believe that there is a way out of the wow. drought? Wow, there is an yeah? instruction. Exactly. Amen. Why is it so easy for us to believe newspaper headlines, um, primetime news, mm. reports of what Go is see. happening around us, gossip um, mm. and everything? <laughs> Why is it so easy for us to believe yeah. that as opposed to believing yes. God's word? Wow. And that's wow. an encouragement to us that yes, yes. there is barrenness in the land. Land. But mm. guess what? There is also a voice of Amen. preservation Amen. that is being spoken, and God is giving some mm. of us direction. Mm. And so, what I want some of us to do is to slow down. Yes. Slow down. Mm. Relax. Mm. Like I was telling some people earlier today, these things don't surprise God. Yes. That why wow, there is a three years drought now? What's going to happen? No, mm. no, no, no. Yeah. They don't surprise God. <laughs> slow down. Amen. Relax. Take, Amen. take it easy yes. and listen to the voice of wow. God. Because wow. if you read, I think, two chapters later, mm. there's a place where, I think in chapter 19, where Elijah was now sitting under this tree, and the Bible says the voice of God came to him so still. Mm. It was so still mm. that you can actually miss it if your heart is beating too mm. loud. So that is to say that sometimes we need to just calm ourselves and try and just listen to what God is wow. saying. Because I can tell you, there's a direction for Amen. every one of us. Amen. There's a drought, but God's people are being wow. preserved. Wow. There's a barrenness yes. in the land, but yes. people are receiving yes. babies as Amen. we shared earlier yes. on. Yes. So I encourage us today, mm. why don't we take some more time to mm. listen to God's voice, mm. to heed his word, and get some direction. Wow. Because truly, wow. there is hey. direction. Hallelujah. Indeed, you are pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> of the word. Amen. Amen. It's good to be pregnant of the right it things. It is. It is. <laughs> you know the Bible says out of the abundance. Yes. Out of our pregnancy and expectation, the mouth speaketh. Speak it. So if you're just speaking powerful things, yeah. anointed things, Amen. then that tells us whatever is Speaking inside you. Heart, yes. And the reverse is also true. Right. If someone just calls you the name of a domesticated animal, <laughs> just it comes out. Just, that there means are so there are many domesticated animals w -W -W that are so yes. inside them. Yeah. But yeah. the Lord is going to deliver us. Amen. Wow. In the midst of the storm, yes. in the midst of the desert moment and dryness, there is an instruction of God. Oh, yes, and that's why is. our God is the God who makes way where there seems to be no way. Oh, yes. He gives water in the desert. Mm. And this reminds me of the story of this woman who was sent away by Sarah in the Bible, the, the maid servant, Hagar. Hagar. Yes, yes. yes, Mama Ishmael. Yes. 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 And yes. she's putting the child down to die because yeah. there is no water. Yes. But an instruction came yes. and she found water. Amen. Could it be that maybe you're so dry and empty mm. because you have missed out on the instruction of God? Right. Please, just as he has encouraged us, slow down, ask the Lord, instruct me one more time. Right. You who is a way maker, you who is a promise keeping God, you who is a God who directs us on where to fetch, on where to draw. Mm. I can tell you, even you who is in business, God can tell you, go park this car at a specific location. Yes. And I can tell you, Oh, you will fetch money you have never fetched, Amen. even in this season, because our God is faithful. And so thank you so much again for watching. Again, I just want to ask you, would you want to pray for us that the Lord will enable us to hear his voice and where we have been ignoring him, that the Lord would forgive us and that in this dryness and in this desert moment we are in as a nation and as a world, yeah. that we will hear an instruction. And better still, the Lord will also instruct his servants that there will rise an Elijah, yes. an Elisha, who boldly declare, thus says the Lord, even concerning this pandemic. Just yeah. go ahead and pray for us. Shall we pray? We thank you, our Lord, for this time. Forgive us for the many instances, Lord, where the cares of this life um, have caused us to wander away from your voice. 
Forgive us, Lord, for the many times, Lord, we have concentrated so much more on the drought than on the instruction that would lead us to our supply and abundance in seasons of drought, O God. And this day I pray, Lord, with your sons and daughters, Lord, wherever they are, those that are trusting to hear from you, Lord, in the middle of their drought seasons, Lord. Father, I pray that you may make it so clear your instruction upon them. Mm. I pray that, Lord, you may silence every other voice around us and that we may be the sheep that's described in John 10, 25, the sheep that knows the voice of the shepherd. Mm. I pray that your voice will be so clear beyond doubt, oh God, that when you speak, we will know Mm. that is the Lord Mm. and that the confidence that was upon Elijah when he was walking into Mm. an unknown land Mm. to meet a widow she had never seen before, Mm. he had never seen before, Lord, that same confidence will be upon us, Lord, when we set our hearts to obey the instruction you give us, Mm. oh God. Mm. But how much more we pray for men of God that Mm. are seasoned to hear from you, men that can instruct a nation, Mm. men that can instruct the body of Christ, Mm. men that can instruct us, oh God, in seasons such as this in the name of Jesus. Mm. We pray that, Lord, you will cause our hearts to desire Mm. to hear you, Mm. that you will cause our hearts to tune to that frequency on which you're speaking to us, oh God. Mm. I pray that there will be such a love for your word Mm. and a love for your for prayer, oh God, for those are the mediums through which you speak to us with assurance, Mm. oh God. Mm. We thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you so much, Brother Precious, for coming. Thank you. We wish you God's blessings. Amen. Continue just walking in the grace of God. Amen. And may the Lord make you more pregnant with his word so that you can bring it to God's people. Thank Thank you you so much for watching. Thank you so much for joining us every Monday and every Friday for the devotion hour and at 4 p.m. for the worship hour. Indeed, your labor of love. You know, your labor of just watching these, sharing these with your family and friends, it is not in vain. And so from to us, to you, it's a goodbye. May the Lord bless you. And may the Lord instruct you. Shalom. Thank you. Amen.